Hello, everybody. I'm Flavia, as some of you already know, and I'm here to teach you Brazilian Portuguese. Today, we are going to continue our last lesson, the lesson we had last Thursday. So, here we go. Let me share the screen with you. So let me just find the right one. Okay, we finished here. Okay. Okay, so last lesson we stopped here, right? We started with the verb gostar de. Né? Let me just go back for some of you to see. So we started with the verb gostar de. Okay, with the verb gostar de ou gostar. G. We saw the verb comer, but we didn't conjugate the verb, just the verb gustar, we conjugated. We talked about some typical Brazilian food. Okay, let me start from this one just to show. Okay. So we started from here. Where am I? So we started from here. We saw the verb gostar, gostar de, that is to like, comer, to eat. I'm just showing for you guys because you have this video on Vantisco uh, Facebook page. Okay, so you can find it in case you didn't have this lesson. So here we have the conjugation for the verb gostar, okay? Remembering that it is gostar, but gostar de ou gostar de, okay? This is for everything. Gostar de, gostar de, gostamos de. Uh, what else? Let me... And then so a little bit. Okay, we saw some typical foods of Brazil. Some sweets, sobremesa. We did this exercise with the pictures. You had to complete to tell what they they eat, what they like to eat, and we did this exercise with the verb gustar, and we stopped here. Okay, so today we're going to start from here. Let me just put here. I don't like to see myself. Uh, okay, so we are going to keep the verb gustar g. And we are going to, uh, oh, sorry, we are going to change the verb gostar de, we are going to conjugate, conjugate this verb again. And we will keep the next verb, that is the verb tomar. So when we use the verb gostar de, the next verb stays in the infinitive form. I'm going to repeat, you can repeat after me. Daniela. Gosta de tomar café. Daniela gosta de tomar café. Okay? As you can see here, 
Gostar de, I told you last class, gostar de means to like. So she likes to drink coffee. We have this verb tomar, and we also have the verb beber. Tomar e beber significa to drink, in this case, okay? Tomar e beber, to drink. So it could be, Daniela gosta de beber café. However, the difference is that uh, with some words, for example, café, it's going to fit more. Tomar, then beber. Okay? Just, it's going to fit more. Tomar, then beber. However, some people say beber café. Okay, but the most common is tomar. Tomar café. Okay. Here, okay, the verb conjugated again for the pronoun. Uh, pronoun. Eles, okay, eles gostam de tomar café com leite. Eles gostam de tomar café com leite. Uh, again, the verb gostar is going to change. We are going to conjugate the verb. And then the next verb, tomar, it stays in the infinitive form. We don't change it. Café com leite é isto aqui, ó. Okay? Café e leite. Café com leite. Coffee with milk. Uh, what if it's a negative sentence here? Here the sentence is in the affirmative form. What if it's in the negative form? How would it be? And in the... Um, uh, it's not question form, it's interrogative form. Okay? How would it be in the negative and the interrogative form? So, in the negative form, in the negative form, eles não. Okay, oh, let's, let me see the way I pronounce. No, no. It's like a sound that comes from the nose. No. Eles não gostam de tomar café com leite. And if it's a question, eles gostam de tomar café com leite? Just the intonation. We saw this already. Okay. Now we are going to see some uh, drinks. Okay. We have that it's not only Brazilian drinks. It's like common and some maybe we have in Brazil. Uh, it's more popular. Uh, so, you can repeat, please. O café. O café. O suco de maracujá. O suco de maracujá. Maracujá is passion fruit in English. I don't know if you know this. 
this fruit, but it's very common in Brazil and it's delicious. We make sweets from this and many things. Let me show to you. I'm going to share the screen for you to see the fruit. Here. Okay, so this is maracujá. Did I share it right? Okay. This is maracujá, okay? It's passion fruit in English. So let's go back to this slide. Okay. <clears throat> uh, o café, it's coffee. Suco juice. Aqui. O suco de laranja. O suco de laranja. A água mineral. A água mineral. I, did I put the... No. So we have água, okay? And we also have the sparkling water. That is água com gás. In Portuguese, água com gás. Água com gás, sparkling water. Okay. And here we have some different things. Uh, a bebida alcoólica. A bebida alcoólica. Bebida alcoólica is uh, beverage, uh, alcoholic beverage or booze. Okay. O refrigerante. This one I know it's a little complicated. O Refrigerante. Refrigerante. Refrigerante? Soda. A caipirinha. A caipirinha. A cerveja. A cerveja. Cerveja, as you can see here, is beer. Caipirinha is a typical Brazilian drink that is made with lemon, uh, sugar, ice, can be vodka or any other booze, cachaça, for example. Okay? And we have many kinds of caipirinha. Caipirinha de limão, that is lemon. We have de limão, uh, caipirinha de morango, strawberry, we saw last class, strawberry, morango. De maracujá, de kiwi, and some others. Ok? So, caipirinha de limão, lemon. Caipirinha of lemon. É, morango, strawberry, we saw last class. Maracujá, passion fruit, we just saw it. And kiwi. Yeah, we have many, many kinds. Uh, 
Let me see if we have any other Caipirinha. Oh, we have some other, but it's the most common is Caipirinha. Ok. Vamos lá. Então, aqui nós temos um exercício. Here we have an exercise. Uh, e vamos completá-lo com o ver, os verbos gostar de, conjugado, mais o verbo beber ou tomar. Okay, you can uh, write the verb gostar de, plus the verb tomar, or beber. Okay, I'm going to give you some seconds. First, we are going to read, okay, then you can complete. Ela, cerveja. I'm going to repeat um, again when we complete the exercise for you to um, repeat after me, but now just reading. Nós, cachaça. Eu, suco de maracujá. Ela, café. Vocês, refrigerante. Eles não. Água com gás. Meus amigos, suco de laranja. Here we have cachaça. Let me show the kinds of cachaça we have in Brazil. Okay. This is the most common we have. 51. This one as well. We can make caipirinha with cachaça, as I told you before. Okay, so this is cachaça. Uh, let me share it. Wait, wait. Okay. So I'm going to give you some some seconds to complete it. Let me just search for something here. Okay, so let's complete it. So, ela, how is it going to be conjugated? The verb conjugated, ela. Gosta, ela gosta de beber cerveja ou tomar cerveja. Ok? Ela gosta de beber cerveja ou ela gosta de tomar cerveja. E você? Você gosta de cerveja? Uh, nós. Nós gostamos de beber ou tomar Okay, so uh, I'm going to repeat here. You can repeat after me. Ela gosta de beber cerveja. 
Ou ela gosta de tomar cerveja. Nós gostamos de beber cachaça. Ou nós gostamos, gostamos de tomar cachaça. Let me see, literally, cachaça. Cachaça. Cachaça, deixa eu ver. Cachaça, cachaça, cachaça. Caramba. A most shirts, blues. Cachaça e pinga. <coughs> I didn't find it, but you can search for the word in Google. You can Google it if you want. The meaning in English of cachaça. So, uh, eu, eu gosto de Tomar ou beber suco de maracujá. Vamos repetir? Eu gosto de tomar suco de maracujá. Ou eu gosto de beber suco de maracujá. Ela Ela gosta de beber café. Ela gosta de tomar café. With café it's more common to say tomar, okay? It's much more common to say tomar. Uh, vocês gostam de beber refrigerante? Vocês gostam de tomar refrigerante? Eles não Gostam de tomar ou beber água com gás. Eles não gostam de tomar água com gás ou eles não gostam de beber água com gás. Uh, of course that you could say you could use only the verb gostar eles não gostam de água com gás ela não gosta de café but just for you to know more verbs that's why I'm doing this, okay? but you can use just the verb gostar uh, with, with, uh, without any other verb Like in English, he likes uh, coffee, he likes to drink coffee. It's the same. Uh, e aqui, the last one, o último. Meus amigos, meus amigos, my friends. Meus amigos gostam de tomar ou beber suco de laranja. 
Meus amigos gostam de tomar suco de laranja ou meus amigos gostam de beber suco de laranja. Uh, and here is maracujá, suco de maracujá, suco de laranja, refrigerante. Here's bebida alcoólica. Cachaça would be just one bottle of the one I showed. E aqui, cerveja. We have a word that's interesting for you guys to know if you like to drink and you drink too much. And the other, the other day, you feel very bad after drinking too much. The name is Ressaca. Let me share. Can you see? Um, did I share the right one? Okay. Ressaca. Ressaca is when the person is like this after drinking too much. <laughs> after drinking too much, and the other day you have a headache and other things. You feel very bad. Uh, let me write the name. In the PowerPoint slide. So the name is Hesaka. Hesaka hangover. Okay? Hesaka. If you want to say like eu fiquei. Ah, eu estou, let's, let's use the verb star because we are going to study the verb star. Eu estou de ressaca. I have a hangover. Eu estou de ressaca. In this case, I am with hangover. Okay, because the verb star. Because of the verb star. But the translation in English, uh, I have a hangover. Eu estou de ressaca. Let me translate literally. Just to check if I'm totally correct. Estou de ressaca. Estou de ressaca. My cat is missing me. <laughs> That's why she's meowing. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, I'm hungover. I'm hungover. Let me share. Aqui. Estou de ressaca. I'm hungover. Estou de ressaca. So if you drink too much, estou de ressaca. On the other day. Okay, so let's move on. Let's try to make some sentences. Okay, and let's try to make some sentences. We have two people here, so it's going to be the pronoun, the plural form, and we have Bebida alcoólica, here. Or it can be just the cachaça. Ah, <clears throat> uh, one other word to say drunk is Bebado. We say, let me write. Bebado. 
Bêbado is drunk. Drunk. Então, I am drunk. Eu estou bêbado. If you are a man, eu estou bêbado, I am drunk. If you are a woman, eu estou bêbada. Eu estou bêbada, I am drunk, but it's for a woman. And it's in the, if it's in the plural, uh, nós estamos bêbados. Nós estamos bêbados. We are drunk. Ok? E você? You are. Você está bêbado ou bêbada? Bêbado, masculino. Bêbada, feminino. Ok? So, can you repeat? Bêbado. Bêbada. Ok? Eu estou bêbado. Você está bêbada. I am drunk. You are drunk. And we are going to use with the verb estar. Eu estou. I am. I'm going to leave here. So let's complete. Let's make this sentence. How is it going to be then with the verb gostar, beber ou tomar? Eles gostam de beber ou tomar bebida. Eles gostam de beber ou tomar cachaça. Ou eles gostam de tomar Eles gostam de tomar bebida alcoólica. Alcoólica. Eles gostam de tomar bebida alcoólica. Eles gostam de beber ou tomar cachaça. Okay? Uh, just... For you to remember, if you want to have private lessons with me, you can buy a package of lessons through Vanti School website or Vanti School Facebook page. Uh, the lessons will be prepared according to what you are looking for, and uh, it will be especially for you. Okay, so if you are an advanced student, a base a beginner, whatever it's going to be prepared. Or what for your 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 level, okay? Okay, so let's move end here. Here is going to be with the verb gostar de ou gostar de beber tomar. Do you remember the name of this one? <clears throat> Let's write it. Ele, ok? Ele gosta de beber ou tomar cerveja. Ele gosta de beber ou tomar cerveja. Cerveja. Ok? Cerveja. Aqui. Do you remember the name of this?
So we have two people, a man and a woman. So it's going to be eles. Eles gostam de beber ou tomar água. Água com gás, simplesmente água, água mineral. So, it depends on what you want to say. This one? I'm leaving here for you to see in case you need to read and to pay attention on my lips you to pronounce. So, it's better for you. Um, aqui, então, ela. Ela gosta de beber ou tomar refrigerante. Ok? Ela gosta de beber ou tomar Refrigerante. Refrigerante. Ela gosta de beber ou tomar Coca-Cola, Fanta, enfim. Aqui. So it's a girl, the pronoun, ela, the verb conjugated. Ela gosta de tomar ou beber suco de laranja. Ela gosta de tomar ou ela gosta de beber suco de laranja. Opa. Ok, so here we have another exercise. You can practice there your house, where you are, you're going to tell me, you're, you can write or you can think about the phrase that you're going to, to make now. Uh, so we, we have here, gosta de beber, ele, ok? Ele gosta de beber, o prato favorito dele, a sobremesa favorita dele, E o que ele não gosta? Ele não gosta de... Ele gosta de... Ok? We just saw this one. Okay. Do you remember about this? It's about last class, last Thursday, this one, these three ones. <clears throat> I'm going to the previous slides for you to see the names of these ones, but I'm not going to say anything, okay? Just going to pass through it.
So let's try. Ok. Ele gosta de beber suco de maracujá. Oh, desculpa. <risos> suco de laranja. Ele gosta de beber ou tomar suco de laranja. Aqui. If you are a little bit advanced, you can say. O prato favorito dele é strogonoff. However, we can use. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the very um, basic students. Ele gosta de comer estrogonofe. If you are a little, bit, uh, a little more advanced, you can say a sobremesa favorita dele é brigadeiro. But I'm thinking about the basic students. Então, ele gosta de comer brigadeiro. E aqui... Eu acho que... Let me write. You could say, ele não gosta de bolinho de bacalhau ou ele não gosta de bolinho de bacalhau Opa. ou ele não gosta de comer, to eat. Bolinho de bacalhau. Bacalhau is a fish. Ok? It's a type of fish. Ok? So, this one. Suco de maracujá. Eita! Again. <laughs> Suco de laranja. Estrogonofe. Brigadeiro, bolinho de bacalhau. Move on, moving on. E aqui? Remembering that I give this seconds for you to think about the sentence, okay? All of the food we saw last Thursday. So, you can check the last Thursday's video, okay? Uh, ela gosta de beber suco de maracujá. Now it's maracujá. Suco de maracujá. O prato favorito dela é ou... Ela gosta de comer, ela gosta de comer arroz, feijão, ou arroz com feijão, can be as well. carne e salada. So here it could be, a sobremesa favorita dela é, ou, ela gosta de comer pudim de queijo com goiabada, né? ou, uh, 
Pudim, Romeu e Julieta. Olha só, Last Class. Ela gosta de comer. Pudim, Romeu e Julieta. And the last one. Ela não gosta de comer sanduíche de mortadela. Ela não gosta de comer sanduíche de mortadela. And the next exercise. Aqui. I'm not going to write anymore, okay? I'm just going to speak. So the first one. Ela gosta de beber. Água, ou água mineral, água com gás. Aqui, ela gosta de comer coxinha. Aqui, ela gosta de comer uh, tapioca. De coco com leite condensado. E o último, and the last. Ela não gosta de empada ou empadinha. Ok? Então, aqui. Água. Coxinha. Tapioca de coco com leite condensado e empada ou empadinha. And this is the last. Ele gosta de tomar refrigerante. Ele gosta de comer macarrão. Ele gosta de comer... Ah, this is very important, guys. When it's sorvete, ice cream, we don't say comer ice cream. We say tomar, ok? Então, aqui, ele gosta de tomar sorvete. We don't say comer sorvete. We say tomar sorvete. Ele gosta de tomar sorvete. E aqui? Ele gosta de comer bolo de chocolate. So let's repeat. Refrigerante, macarrão, sorvete, bolo de chocolate. Uh, remembering again that we don't say comer sorvete, we say tomar sorvete. We don't say beber sorvete, ok? It's only Only, 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 tomar sorvete. And here, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the conjugation. Well, we have three 
types of conjugations for the regular verbs. Regular, okay? The first one we call primeira conjugação, okay? Primeira conjugação para verbos terminados em ar. So, when it is a regular verb that ends up with ar ou ar ou ar, ar, for example, the verb gostar, the conjugation is going to be like this. Let's conjugate everything first. I, I, guess I don't have, I guess we won't have time, but let's at least conjugate the verb gostar for this pronounce. Eu gosto de, você gosta de, ele e ela também gosta de, nós gostamos de vocês, eles, elas gostam de. Uh, I'm not going to start explaining about the conjugations on this lesson because the time is up. So let, next class, we are going to talk about the conjugations for the regular verbs that ends up with a verb with uh, a e -R, r r for example the verb gostar if you know this uh, this little rule here you can conjugate any regular verb okay so let me stop sharing that's it for today guys i hope you have enjoyed i hope you have learned something and I see you again next Thursday at the same time. Okay? Thank you so much and bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.